this meal prep video starts, I just want to let you know that this is a pre-filmed video. It just got lost with a lot of my other footage. I do batch film a lot, so sometimes my footage just gets lost. I completely forget about it, and then I end up finding it weeks later. So this is a pre-filmed video. This is why you're going to see some fall decor in the background of my video. I didn't want you guys to be confused as to why you guys are seeing fall decor in this video. So I just wanted to let you guys know really quickly, but enough of my talking. Let's go ahead and jump right into today's meal prep video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian. In today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a meal prep video. I've never done one of these videos here on my channel. So I thought I would go ahead and try it out, see how you guys like it and see how this video does. As most of you guys know, or maybe you don't know if you don't follow me over on Instagram, but I am currently doing a one month fitness journey. I am actually on my third week, so I am trying my very best to eat healthy and work out. My goal is to work out four to five times a week. Sometimes I only work out four days a week, but last week I was able to go to the gym five days. So I am very proud of myself for going for that extra day because I do try and push myself for five days. But like I said, sometimes I only make it four days, but I've been trying my best also to make healthier choices and eat healthier, drink more water, stuff like that. But my problem is I have a really bad sweet tooth. I love junk food and I overeat and binge eat a lot. Um, so if I don't have lunches already on hand made for me, then I will end up going out to eat junk food like fast food or just making a big sandwich at home with a bunch of chips and stuff that I should not be eating. So I have been trying to meal prep lunches. I don't do um, breakfast or dinner meal prepping, but I do try to at least do lunches so that it's already on hand, it's already cooked, and I won't be tempted to go out and eat just because I obviously don't wanna waste that food and it's easier just to grab it from the fridge. So I'm gonna be making two different um, dishes. I'm going to be making some chili, and I'm also gonna be making some sausages, and the sides for the sausages will be butternut squash and also um, cauliflower gnocchi, but the butternut squash and the gnocchi, I am going to show you guys in a different clip on another day just because those are already pre-made. That is frozen. I bought the gnocchi from Trader Joe's and then the butternut squash I just bought from my local grocery store, which is Kroger. So I don't want to warm it up now and then have to rewarm it up whenever I eat it this week. So I will just quickly warm it up on the day that I decide to eat. But I do want to have sausage on the side for those days that I eat it. So I will be cooking some mild sausages and then I'll also, like I said, be making some chili. Um, my husband doesn't like any of this stuff, so it is going to be pretty big um, batches because I'm just going to be making all of the meat, but my daughter is not picky at all, so she'll be eating from this as well. I'll probably pack it for her lunch and then also for dinner as well, so it won't go to waste. We will eat it all. I love chili, and now that it's getting colder outside, I really have been craving some chili. So that is what I'm going to be making. I'm going to stop talking and rambling on because I can see it's almost at three minutes, so let's go ahead and jump right into today's meal prep video. All right, you guys, so this is everything I'm going to be using for the meals. Now, my chili, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because I'm missing like half the stuff. I don't know how this happened, but I did buy red kidney beans and I bought tomato sauce and I can't find it in my pantry. So I'm not going to have red kidney beans in it. I'm just going to have um, black beans in it. And then since I can't find the tomato sauce, which I bought, I'm just going to have to use this pasta sauce. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Hopefully it still tastes good, but I'm going to be putting a little bit of this pasta sauce a can of black beans, some of this crushed tomatoes, chicken broth. This is the um, seasoning I'm gonna be using. And then I'm gonna use ground chicken instead of like ground beef or ground turkey. And that will be for the chili. And then I'll probably, when I do eat it for lunch, sprinkle like some cheese on top. And then I'll probably have some type of side. I'm not sure if I'll have a side or not, but that is for the chili. And then this is the sausages I'm gonna be making. I'm just gonna make this in the pan, these mild Italian sausages. And then one day I will have these cauliflower gnocchis. And then another day I will have some of these butternut squash, like spaghetti um, spirals. And I'll probably add a little bit of this pasta sauce um, when I do the pasta with the sausages. So that'll be three different meals. So chili, sausages with cauliflower, and then sausages with the butternut squash. All right, you guys, so the first thing I will be making is the chili. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my ground chicken and brown that up. Once I am done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some 
green and red peppers i completely forgot to show you guys that in the clip where i showed you guys everything i'll be using but i did use a green pepper or a small piece of a green pepper and also a red pepper i chopped that up really really small i try to chop it up tiny just because my daughter was going to be eating from this and if she tasted like big chunks of it she would have eaten it so i decided to go ahead and chop it up really small so that she wouldn't really taste it too much and she would eat the chili as well <music> So now that the ground chicken has completely cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything else in. So I add in the green and red peppers, the tomatoes, and also the pasta sauce, as well as my black beans that I did drain and rinse, some chicken broth, and then I also added in the chili seasoning. I then just made sure everything was nice and mixed and together, and then I covered it with a lid and I let it sit there and simmer for about 25 minutes. it turned out so i just have it in this little tupperware so tomorrow i'll probably have it this for lunch i'll just pour it in a bowl and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it and that'll be one of my lunches so now moving on to my sausages i threw in the sausages in my pan i let it cook there for a little bit but it was taking forever to cook in the center so i did remove the sausages from the pan and i cut it up and then i placed it back in the pan and i just pretty much sauteed it in the pan until it was completely cooked How the sausage turned out so i didn't put anything in it like i didn't mix any sauces or like onions or peppers i just wanted some plain sausage i will mix in some pasta sauce um whenever i do the squash spaghetti just because that's how i'm gonna make it but when i do the cauliflower gnocchi i'm just gonna leave it plain like that I might put a little bit of like sriracha sauce on it or something but that's it but this is how it turned out and it is delicious so now that this is pre-made i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge and then i'll show you guys how it turns out once i make um both of the bowls with the sauce all right guys so it's the next day and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to eat my chili so i did sprinkle some cheese it's all the way in the bottom and then i put some of these tortilla strips on top and then i also put a little bit of sriracha and just pour that over so that is how my chili turned out. I'm not gonna eat a side with it. I'm not too hungry today, so this should be enough for me to get full off. All right, you guys, so this is Tuesday, and this is how my lunch is looking for my meal prep. So that is the sausage that I previously made, and then this is the cauliflower gnocchi. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, but that is the cauliflower gnocchi, and I just put it in the air fryer for 15 minutes at about 370. And then I do have half an avocado here on the side. And then I love my sriracha sauce. So I might um, put a little bit of this sriracha over my sausage. And that's going to complete um, my next little lunch for my meal. All right, you guys. So this is the last little meal I'm showing you guys. And this is the spaghetti squash noodles in the bottom. And then I have those mild sausages on top. And then I just put a little bit of pasta sauce on the top. So that is going to be my last little meal for you guys. Super easy. I just warmed up the spaghetti squash in the microwave for like five or six minutes. And then I just threw over the sausage that I warmed up really quickly with the sauce. All right, guys. So that is going to end my meal prep video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Although this was a pre-filmed video that I recorded weeks ago. Hopefully you still enjoyed it and maybe I gave you guys a few ideas for either lunch or dinner. I personally ate these for lunch. We can totally have them for dinner as well. And I'm sorry about the background noise, my daughter. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. So far, I have been able to get up a video every single day. I'm starting to get the videos up a little bit past nine because it's starting to get hard to um, 
keep up with it but i'm still able to get a video up every single day for you guys and i do have a lot more fun videos coming out for you guys soon i will have a try on haul and a lot more cleaning and also another clean and bake with me so definitely look out for all those videos because i have pre-filmed all those already thanks so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas video bye